Hello, hello, it is me, Strong Earth Creations, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these super cute water bottle holders out of a bunch. These are one of my best sellers at pop-up events and markets. So they come in two different sizes. We have the 32 to 40 ounce size and the 18 to 20 ounce size. So super, super easy to make, very fast and easy to work up and I think I can get these done in like less than an hour. So if you're looking for something quick to make for an event or for gifts for friends or just for yourself, keep on watching and let's get into the tutorial. So the materials that you'll need for these water bottle holders is some yarn. I highly recommend using cotton yarn. I feel like they're a lot more durable. They're not as easy to stretch so they won't get worn out as easily and they do a lot better um, with water. So I um, highly recommend cotton yarn. I'm using Lily Sugar and Cream and then a five millimeter hook, a darning needle or a yarn needle and some scissors. So going straight into the start of this tutorial, we're going to start with a magic circle. So in order to do that, you're going to grab your yarn, twist it so that you make a like round circle, insert your hook, grab that yarn up and then chain two. We'll be doing double crochets for this whole tutorial as well as one uh, round of single crochet but for the most part we'll only be doing double crochet and this chain two does count as a stitch. So this is our first double crochet. And now we're going to work 11 more double crochets into this circle so that we end up with a total of 12 double crochets in our magic ring. So go ahead and do 11 double crochets. In order to do a double crochet, you yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through so that you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and just keep doing that stitch until you have a total of 12 stitches, making sure that your chain two counts as one stitch. Also making sure that you're working on top of this extra bit. This is the part that we're going to pull in order to tighten our circle. So you are going to be working your stitches on top of that. All right, let's count our stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this is our chain two right here, making it twelve. So go ahead and close your circle by just tightening that extra loop, making sure that it's not open at all, and then slip stitch into our chain two. It might be a little hard to find. If you need to, you can use a stitch marker to mark that chain two. And then what I like to do is with this extra uh, string, I like to work it into my stitches and sew it in while I work. So I'll go ahead and slip stitch, chain two, this counts as a double crochet. And now we're going to start our increases. So we're going to um, double crochet two in every single stitch so that we have a total of 24 stitches. So this counts as our first double crochet. Do another double crochet in that same stitch and then just work two double crochets in every stitch in the round. I finished the last double crochet in this round and if you are doing the smaller size for the 18 to 20 ounce water bottle you're going to stop here and move on to the front loop only round so go ahead and click that timestamp but if you are making the larger size we're going to be doing one more row of increases so if you're doing the larger size that's what I'll be doing slip stitch into that chain two chain two which counts as a double crochet and then for this round we'll be doing increase and then one double crochet increase one double crochet all the way around
you should be ending your row with 36 double crochets. And once you finish that, I will meet you back. And that round is finished. Go ahead and slip stitch into that chain two. And now we're going to be working a row of singular double crochets all the way around, working only into the front loop. So this is if you're doing either size. You're going to chain two, which from now on is not going to count as a double crochet. This is just gonna be your chain. So go ahead and do your actual double crochet into that chain space. And then working into our front loops only, so this side of our loops, we'll just be doing one double crochet in each loop. So there's my front loop. Front loop. So if you're making the smaller size, you will have 24 double crochets. If you're making the larger size, you'll have 36 double crochets. And you're just working this all the way around. And you'll see your stitches start to raise up and stand up. This is a good sign because that's what we want. And then instead of doing your slip stitch into the chain two, because that one didn't count as a double crochet this time, you'll be slip stitching into your first double crochet stitch and then flip your work so that it's the right sides outwards because this is our wrong side of our work. So we want that hidden on the inside of our uh, water bottle holder. So this is our right side and you can see it made our stitches stand up. And then we're just going to be doing one more row of regular double crochet all the way around by chaining two, double crocheting in that same stitch because the chain two doesn't count as a double crochet and then double crochet all the way around. Once you've finished that round, go ahead and slip stitch into that first double crochet. And now we're gonna get started on our like mesh looking stitch, which is just a sequence of double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So very easy, let's get into it. Go ahead and chain two, which doesn't count as a stitch, double crochet in that same stitch chain one, skip a stitch, and then do the double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next, and keep this going. And we're going to repeat this same thing for nine rows. I found that this is a great length for both sizes of the water bottle. So whether you're making the smaller version or the larger version, I feel like nine rows is a pretty solid length. But of course you can customize it to whatever length that you want yours. I would just be careful of making it too long because then it will uh, drag down when you're holding it and it will get really stretched out. So be careful of that. I would definitely go shorter rather than longer. And then to finish the row, you're just going to chain one and slip stitch into that first double crochet. For the next round, you'll just keep doing this by chaining two, double crochet in the same stitch, chain one, and then double crochet into the top of your last row's double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. So just keep doing this until you have nine rows total and I'll meet you back. So once you finish your nine rows, it should look something like this. And then we're going to do two rows of single crochet to kind of just like give a little border and a little more security. So go ahead and chain one and then single crochet into that first stitch and then into that chain one space, do a single crochet and into the double crochet. Chain one space, 
double crochet all the way around. And then you'll do the same thing for another row by chaining one and then single crocheting all the way around. So you should end your first row in a chain one space and then slip stitch into our first single crochet, chain one, and do one more row of regular single crochet, and then we'll move on to the straps. So just finished the two rows of single crochet. This is basically the whole water bottle holder and now all we have to do is the straps. So you're just going to chain however long you want your strap to be. I never really count, I just kind of guesstimate how long I want it to be. So go ahead and do that chain and then I'll show you how to attach it. I do it a little different than I feel like the average person would do, so come back once you've finished your long chain. Once you've finished your chain, you're going to want to make sure that your strap is not tangled and every stitch is the right direction because once you sew it on, it's going to be super annoying if it's tangled and you've already finished the entire strap. Alright, so after making sure that your chain is not tangled, if you're doing the large size, you're going to slip stitch into the 15th single crochet. So count 14 and then slip stitch into that stitch from the outside so that it looks like this. If you're doing the small size, you're going to slip stitch into the ninth chain so that you have eight chains in between both of your, or sorry, if you, so you have eight stitches in between both of your straps, both sides of your straps. And then once you've slip stitch on from the outside, you should be able to slip stitch into the stitch to the left of that. And we're working from the inside here. So once you've done that slip stitch, you're going to do single crochets in every chain that you did for your strap. So you see there's the chain there, work single crochets into every chain. I know people might think that this strap method is a little difficult, but I just find it to look the neatest and be the most secure because instead of sewing on your strap, which is only letting you have your straps attached by one piece of yarn, this is having, you're actually working your stitches into the top. So it's as secure as it could possibly be. So go ahead and just single crochet your entire chain. And then once you get to the bottom of your chain, meet me back here and I'll show you what to do next. So I have one last stitch here and instead of finishing it regularly, I'm gonna start it halfway by yarn over, pull through so that I have my two loops, but instead of yarning over and pulling through to finish the stitch, I'm actually going to slip stitch, or not slip stitch, I'm going to insert my hook into our next available stitch. So this is our beginning stitch, so work into the next one and finish the stitch this way. So yarn over and pull through both stitches and that finishes your stitch attached to our work and then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and continue with your single crochets by turning your work and then single crocheting into that first stitch and keeping it going until our last stitch where we do the same thing all right and then i have two stitches left so this one will do regularly and then this is our last stitch it's a little hard to tell but that is it so do it halfway and then finish it off by going into our next stitch. And then last time, slip stitch into the next stitch and single crochet all the way around. This is our last row for our straps. And at the end, you'll do the same thing where you halfway do your single crochet and then finish it by going into your next stitch. So just go ahead and single crochet this whole row and you're almost finished. 
Okay, and then our last stitch, here it is, do it halfway, and then finish it off by going into the next stitch. And this is it, so go ahead and cut off your yarn, leaving a tail, chain one and pull through, and then just go ahead and sew in this end, and you're done! And just like that, you are finished. Ah! You have an entire water bottle holder. And it only took like an hour. I'll even show you. Here's my 40 ounce water bottle. Here's what it looks like. So you will get some pulling and that's completely normal. It's going to stretch over time. So you can't expect this to be the sturdiest thing ever, but it works and it's super cute perfect accessory to take with you if you are the type of person who takes their water bottle with them everywhere you'll never lose this it's so easy to carry so thank you guys so much for watching hope you like the video and i'll see you next tuesday bye